ओके हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक दिस इज वीरेंद्र कुमार सो इन दिस वीडियो सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ वी कैन डिजाइन आवर फर्स्ट पाइपलाइन ऑन द जॉब डेवलप्स बिफोर यू आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन योर ओन पाइपलाइन यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द वाईएमएल लैंग्वेज एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज understand the basic concept and the syntax of the yml language and it is very easy and it is very interesting once you understand the concept of the yml once you understand the syntax of the yml you can easily write your yml so define the build and the release pipeline using the yml and markup language this is a markup language okay and this yml build definitions can be added to a project by simply adding their source file dot yml to the root of the repository so when you create your project in that project you can create your configurations file okay under the root of the repository in the project repository and the extension will be the dot yml okay when you create the dot yml file as a configuration file you can start writing your configuration code for the azure devops ci cd pipeline yml is a human readable language it's commonly used for configurations file now there are some rules for the yml markup language okay when we use the yml language we should care about the rules of the yml language so the first rule is that it is a case sensitive language okay that we will see while we are writing the script yml files always have the dot yml extension okay and yml spaces are allowed now the basics about the yml the block format uses a hyphen plus dash when you provide the hyphen and the dash there is the one difference to begin a new item in the specified list this showing is the item when you have the hyphen and the dash this is showing in the hyphen this is showing as a item into the list you know the java programming language and there is the array okay an array having the list of the elements okay so these are the elements of the list and the elements is specified with the hyphen plus dash that we will understand when we are writing the yml script in the yml programming if you want to comment something then you can start with the hash character okay when you want to write the some information about the stage jobs and the steps you can comment in the yml language with the hash and that is the non executable code okay now the arrays we can define if we have the colon then it show it's the arrays now the block sequence in the collection indicate each entry with the dash and the space if the dash and the space you can see hyphen and the space now create your and understand your first yml pipeline so first what we will define we will define the trigger information for the manual and the automatic so that we will define here then second we define the agent informations microsoft versus local agents we can define with this column so now you can see that these are the columns the column define the array and this is the one list trigger is the list and this is the one item in this list so because it start with the dash and the space so dash and space always specify the item in this list then we have the stages stages the colon define the array so this is consider as a array in this array we have the one list element so hyphen dash stage a is the list of the element a now the jobs again we have the one jobs is array so jobs is the array and the hyphen dash job a is the item in this list then we have the steps so steps always define under the job 
ओके एनी स्टेप्स हैविंग दिस की प्रोडक्ट टास्क ओके नाउ डेमो टू डिजाइन फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच योर फर्स्ट पाइपलाइन सो लेट्स स्विच टू द एडिटर नाउ दिस इज माय dev.ajor.com portal and there i will go to the pipeline sections under the pipeline sections i will click on the new pipeline and under the new pipelines i want i want to click through the yml so my code is present on the azure devops git repository so i will click on this option there i will select the one repository and now this is the default one i have selected now i remove the every code now i want to design my code from the scratch so according to our ppt the define the trigger information so first define the trigger so for that you can type tr then it will give you the suggestions okay if you are getting the suggestions that means you are on the right track okay if you are not getting the suggestions means you are writing something wrong so you can remove the things now again if you want the suggestions you can again type the the keywords and the keyword will give you the list of the suggestions okay now i'm going to select the trigger after the trigger there is the colon so colon define this is a array this is a array now if you type something next to this array you will get this error so if you are getting this underline it saying the incorrect type expected object so how to resolve this one after every colon you need to give this space to this space you can define the value okay so trigger we have defined the none because we don't want the automatic trigger now we want the pipeline execution for the manual okay now second thing is that or if you want to the master how we can define this one you can remove this one come down then provide the dash then give this space then you can type the master you define the trigger information now agent information you need to define with the pull keyword so for that type the p and you will get the pull so you select this one colon is there under the pull we have the name of the pull or you can type vm images okay so as of now you select the vm images then colon vm image then type the colon then give the space now this will give you the ubuntu information so for that you can type ubuntu latest okay so the pull information is done okay so the pull information is done now you can see this underline this mean showing is the error so what is showing that the missing property stages is required so now what i'm going to do the pull information is defined agent and the pull information is defined ubuntu latest now i'm going to define the stages so i will come down and then i will type here so here i am not getting the option for the stages so for that what i will do i will go back and i will come in the straight of this one so pull so you can see here if i say as then it will give me the options it will give me the suggestions to write and if i come ahead it will give me the no staging suggestion so you should remember these formats these are the formats to understand okay so what i will do i will go back and there if i type the stage 
I have the stages are there. Okay, so I will select the stages. Under the stage, what we need to define? Under the stages, we have the stage one, stage A. So stage A is the item. This is the array. So what I will say when I type the S, it will give me the suggestions. I will select, then I will give the name. Okay. Now you can see this error was removed. So stage one. Now the stage having the jobs. So how to define the jobs? What I will do? Yeah. So now you understand. If I go back and if I type J, there is no suggestions. So I am going on the wrong steps. So where the job will come, it will come under the stages. So under the stage A. Under the stage A, we have the jobs. So under the stage A, you take your cursor in front of and straight of this one stage and there you can type the J. You will have the jobs option. Then it will automatically give the job keyword and then you can type a job. Okay, so we have the jobs are there and steps are under the job. So I'm going, I'm just following this step, stage, job and then step. So step will come under the job. So there, if I come to the job and if I say step, it's not giving me any suggestion. So I will go back to the jobs. There also it's not giving me the suggestions. So for that, I will come here. Then I will have the options here steps. So I will select the steps and then I have the. So if I'm getting the underline, that means I'm typing something wrong. So one is step and one space is required. Then if I type the S, then it will give me the script. So under the script name and under this script, I have the one Now what we need to type under the step so you can go to the document and you can see the script echo a so you can type this script and you can say the echo so this is your one <coughs> basic pipeline is designed now you just save and run so you can click on the save and run and you can set up the CIP pipeline and you can change the commit name commit directly to this one and save and run now you can see the job is triggered let's see the job is running or not so my job is running Okay, so you can see the CMD line, command line. Generating the script, script content echo a script. So echo through the command line. This is the command line script. When we typing the echo, it is printing the echo script a and the output is a script. When it's executing this echo script under the step, we have the output here. Post checkout, finalize job and report the build status. Now this job is successful and this job we have designed through the pipeline. So if you want to edit this pipeline, you can go to this link and there you can type the edit pipeline. And you can type this pipeline. So what I have select, okay, I have Trigger is the array, pull is the array, stages are the array, and jobs are the array. Now you can see these lines, the stages. Under the stages, we have the stage. And under the stage, we have the jobs. Under the jobs array, we have the job array. Then we have the steps. And it will give you the suggestions. If your cursor on the right 
place on the editor otherwise you will not get the suggestions and if you have the underline of the some red or the any orange type that means you are doing something wrong you are typing something wrong your pipeline is wrong so this is the basic demo how we design this one